everybody, this is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBytes.com. Today we're going to talk about an explorer named Christopher Columbus. Several hundred years ago, most people in the world didn't even know that America existed. It was not until an Italian explorer named Christopher Columbus came along that men learned that there was a whole other world out there. Christopher Columbus was born in Genoa, Italy in 1451. When he was a young boy, he always dreamed about sailing the seas and exploring. When Columbus grew up, he wanted to find a faster way to get to a place called India. So he decided to head west to find a different route. There was a problem though. He needed money to buy ships and food for the trip. Columbus asked many kings and queens for money, but they all said no. Finally, Queen Isabella of Spain decided to buy Columbus three ships called the Santa Maria, Nina, and Pinta. In just a short time, Columbus had acquired three ships and enough food and water to make the trip to India. It took a very long time, but in 1492, Columbus landed his ships on a group of islands called the Bahamas, which is very close to America. The problem was, he thought the islands were the country of India, so he named the people there Indians. Columbus became famous for his trip across the Atlantic Ocean. Even though he did not discover America, he inspired other men to explore. Some of those men eventually settled in America and began colonies there. An interesting fun fact is that America was actually named after a Spanish merchant named Amerigo Vespucci. Did you notice how much his name sounds like America? Amerigo? America? Amerigo Vespucci traveled to America seven times after Columbus's first voyage to the Bahamas. An important lesson for us to learn from Christopher Columbus is to be brave and always persevere, even when things are hard. This is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBites.com, and until next time, go learn your history.